Oh man, love stains. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a 1941 Dodge Power Wagon. This is made by Greenlight. Beautiful casting. A couple things I'd like to change on it today. We're going to do a restyle. This thing looks like a Christmas ornament to me. I think it would look great hanging on any Christmas tree. I bought two of these and I, I planned on customizing one of them for sure. Like I said, this is made by Greenlight. I love the little details. It's got a little die cast shovel mounted on the side. Over here we have an axe, like a fireman's axe. Very cool. It's got the front grill with the headlight protectors and everything. But this bumper, this bumper does not belong on this truck. This is a modern style plate bumper that you would see on like a brand new diesel truck. So we're going to be swapping that out for sure. And I would like to do a paint job today. We're going to leave the stacks. These Texaco decals are cool, but we're not going to be using those in our restyle today. I don't know. Is Texaco still around in the States? I haven't seen a Texaco in Canada in years, probably 20 years. So it's a cool brand. Unfortunately, the colors on this truck just turn me off completely. And also these green bead locks make me gag. Pretty cool truck otherwise. It's got a really detailed suspension. So what I plan on doing today is turning this into a truck that looks a little bit more realistic. Especially with the colors and a, a different front bumper. We'll probably put one of mine on that I 3D printed. So we're going to tone these colors down a little bit and make this a little bit more appealing to the eyes. At least my eyes anyways. So in true green light fashion, this whole fancy suspension was just glued on the bottom. So really, you could put this base on about anything. Grab one of these Firebirds. <laughs> Wouldn't take too much work to do that at all. So that's cool. So I'm going to drill a couple of these rivets and we'll get this thing separated. Might make it a little bit easier to work on. More glue. Grr, thanks, green light. There's our cab. Heavily reinforced glass. That's insane. Four rivets to hold that in. This should be all metal except for this little thing in the box. Boop. Half painted. Very nice. Whatever it is, looks like a little toolbox. So we'll reuse that, but it's not going to be painted the same color as the body. I saw a couple people on Instagram using Hot Wheels as Christmas ornaments, so there's a little idea for some of you guys out there if you're in the mood. Get some of your favorites, make some little Christmas ornaments, get a little crafty for the holidays. What a beautiful engine you have. Didn't even try on that one. Okay, now if we can get this grill out in one piece, we are in business. More glue. But we got her out. Just want to figure out if these are die casts. I think they are. And if we dig away some of this paint, oh yeah, there it is. It's a good thing I checked, otherwise I would have just melted those into oblivion. Do, 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 do. Gonna use the nippers here as a little bit of a pulling device and ugh. Beautiful. You can see the big blob of glue they used. So we're going to put these aside because we definitely need those bad boys again. Put them in the back of one of these here miscellaneous Fords. And we just got to get the glass out of this cab and we can go ahead and strip the paint off of this. This has got some heavy duty enamel on it. So I'm going to use a little bit of scotch Bright Just to scuff everything up. really going to help our paint stripper bite into this really glossy surface. Sorry Texaco. Alright this stuff isn't as tough as what's on the body so we're probably good. So I'm going to go ahead and cover these up with a little stripper and we'll get this going. Mm. 
think this might be the last of the aircraft paint remover. I'm really down to the bottom of the can here. And see how runny everything is. That looks pretty good. I think I could probably go ahead and hit these with a wire brush and get these all cleaned off. So that's looking a lot better already. Check this out. While I was cleaning this up, you're not going to believe what I found. It's already got spots for axles. So if somebody wanted to buy one of these and make like an original old red stock ride height one, you just got to buy one of these and throw your axle tubes right in. So I tried putting our big tires in there and obviously they're not going to fit because they're humongous. Just for fun, just for fun. I got a big wheel kit here. Let's try to put some of these in. I just want to see how it looks. Ooh, she's pretty low, boys. I don't know. I think on my build, we'll stick to uh, the big ones. But anyone out there who wanted to do like an original looking power wagon, I mean, the option's yours. This was a complete truck that they just added on this extra suspension to, so that's pretty neat. We'll save these for another project and we'll use those big ones. Uh, the other thing I figured out is this bumper, the original ugly bumper that was on here was glued on. So I just popped it off and we could use that on another project. You see how this is a little bit more round? The type of truck I see a bumper like this going on to is something that had a little bit more of a rounded body. So just as an example, we got this big Bridgestone Toyota Tundra. This would be the kind of truck that I would see this bumper on. Something that's got some curves to it, you know? So we're gonna save this bumper. In the miscellaneous section of my wheel box, along with Preacher Dan and Officer Grady, and I got a couple little Mopar engines in there for a rainy day. Save that. We'll keep going on this. Just going to clean everything up with Scotch Brite here. So, what I had in mind for this truck is if you guys have seen that episode of Jay Leno's Garage, they had a big blue and black power wagon that had a tandem axle in the back. I really like the color of that truck, so we're going to go for that kind of color. It's kind of a, a bluish. Kind of a pastel blue with a little bit of gray mixed into it with black fenders. I thought about doing the whole tandem thing, but I didn't want to ruin two of these trucks just to make one. So I'd rather have two, di two different projects or have one original one on the shelf instead of taking apart two cool power wagons just to make one cool power, power wagon. So. Looking pretty good. It should paint up real nice. Do the same to everything else here. So I've got one of my bumpers attached to the frame now. It's got a lot of stuff on the bottom here. These are little supports from the printing process. We're just going to clean up. I'm going to use one of these flat kind of diamond burrs. And we're just going to go along and clean up all these little supports. It's hard to tell, but I'm using a, I wear a hygienist style mask anytime I'm buzzing on this resin because this is really nasty stuff. You don't want to be breathing that dust. Probably never leave your system again. So I'm going to continue doing this off camera just so I can get it nice and close. But you get the idea of what I'm doing here. Just going to blend that all in there so you never knew that it was even 3D printed and it should all look like one piece. <laughs> Play was made for it. So this kind of flat design is a lot nicer. It really goes with the body better than having that curved kind of modern winch bumper design. So this is still the original batch of these winch bumpers when I did the one for the Ford here. 
So we'll have to get together and design some new ones in the future, just so we could have a little bit of a variety. But this will work for now. I like this style. And of course there is a winch that we are going to put inside there, so it's going to kind of fill up this little void a little bit. And it should look really good. Okay, all our parts are clean. I'm going to go ahead and hit them with a coat of our sealer. I'm going to mix up our blue and gray color here. I'm going to just darken up this blue first of all. That's what I'm looking for right there. Kind of that grayish blue. Maybe just a touch more blue. I think Dodge is putting out a color similar to this right now. I've seen it on a couple of their new Jeeps and it gives me a chubby. Yes. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna have to put on a lot of our little details. Now, before we clear coat, our little ax like this is so fragile. If you're like cruising through some shag carpeting and this snags one fiber, it's gonna break off. So we're gonna put these on now and clear coat over them. That way they're in there, they're secure and you're never gonna lose them. I gotta paint this still, our little toolbox. And we got to do something with this engine. This looks ridiculous. Doesn't show up very well. So maybe first things first, I'll throw this axe on here. Beauty. Put our little toolbox in the back already. Painted her black, so that's looking sweet. I love this little model, it's so cool. Put a little engine panel back in. Maybe we'll get a little bit of chrome and we'll do some of these pulleys just to give it a little bit of a, kind of a 3D effect, I guess, if someone really wanted to stick their nose in there and look through the grill. Just to give it a little something something. Probably can't even see it through the grill, but I mean that's better than their yellow plastic that they had. And we'll just secure this back up in here. And I'll let that dry just like that. And then once our grill's on there then it'll yeah, you can barely even see through it, so that's all I'm going to do on there. Pretty simple. Just getting those headlights reinstalled. 
We got the grill back on. Sweet, so everything lined up real nice. You can see a little bit of those chrome pulleys through the uh, grill, but not very much, so that's fine. Bloop, 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 bloop. Pimp. Probably gonna have to clear coat this in two parts. It'll be the black part and the blue part. If I try to do it all together, I won't be able to get it apart because I got to put my glass and stuff back in. See? So, maybe what we'll do, we could probably put this on here. Since it was just glued on anyways, that doesn't really matter to me. Brrr, that looks tough. I think I'm about ready to clear coat. I'm going to do this part separate from the body. It's all ready to go. I did the little brackets that hold our little axe and our shovel. I left the handle green because eh, it's different brackets. That looks really good. So I'm going to clear coat everything and then we'll be able to do a final assembly, get our stacks on there, etc. I got a little chain we're going to hang from our winch this time. And I think the last thing I'm going to do is try to hit the spool of this winch with a little bit of silver. As you can see right now it's black. I did our power wire red and our little clutch release lever red, but I would like to get some sort of silver or something on that drum inside there just to really tie the room together, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to get the smallest, skinniest little brush I got, or maybe a toothpick or something. I'm going to see what I can do. But anyways, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go ahead and clear coat everything, and then we will come right back and do an assembly. So no matter what I tried, I could not, for the life of me, get these tires off. I even uh, put them in some boiling water, and that wasn't enough. So we're going to paint the beadlocks by hand. And I'm just going to color match it to what I had left for body paint. So let's see here. We'll go real careful. Do the inside first. I'm only going to do one on camera just because this is so far away from my eyes that I'm taking a risk even filming it. But I think we'll be okay. Can't see if that's glare or green. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna probably do one more coat where it's up close to my face so I can see what's up, but it's basically what we're going for. Color match beadlocks. Pimp. Oh, that's exactly what I envisioned. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I wanted to save the reveal for you guys so I didn't build it on camera. But she turned out really nice. I'm super happy with it and I think this looks a heck of a lot better than that Christmas theme one we had before even though it is the season. Little toolbox in the back. Stacks looking good. Thing looks tough. Tough as heck. Let's get her on the rotisserie. Super happy with this restyle let's call it this is exactly what i wanted when i started i think the new bumper is a little bit more suiting but like i said i am going to make some new ones so i got a little bit of a variety instead of using that same style on everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like consider subscribing also check out the merch if you want to get yourself a christmas present it's pretty stylish mine's on order a couple of you guys have already ordered some so thank you very much for that i appreciate it it supports the channel not sure what's coming up next i'll probably have another car here in a couple days and then uh gonna meet up with outlaw speed shop on wednesday we're gonna do a challenge together so look forward to that i want to thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next one it's got a cummins